Patients that are treated with mix or minimally invasive cardiac surgery typically have a single valvular lesion, either aortic stenosis or aortic regurgitation, or they have mitral stenosis or mitral regurgitation, typically not both, and don't have underlying significant coronary artery disease. Those patients are typically worked up with preoperative uh, CAT scans to assess their anatomy for, and suitability for minimally invasive cardiac surgery. Patients that have had previous cardiac surgery typically are not candidates for minimally invasive valvular surgery uh, on their second operation because there is scarring around the heart and mediastinum, which makes it challenging to approach that patient's heart. The safer approach is through traditional sternotomy. Minimally invasive cardiac surgery is performed through a small incision depending on what we're treating. For mitral valve surgery, typically that's done through a small incision between the ribs on the patient's right. For aortic valve surgery, it's either done via small incision in the upper part of the breastbone or through the ribs on the right. And, and sometimes we do uh, minimally invasive uh, coronary bypass surgery uh, through a small incision in the patient's left side. We can also do uh, less invasive approaches for uh, atrial fibrillation ablation, which can either be done through a small incision below the breastbone or through an a endoscopic approach going between the ribs. The major benefits to uh, minimally invasive surgery are primarily aesthetic, smaller incisions, but also patients tend to recover quicker. One of the most common questions I get for any procedure that we do as heart surgeons uh, is what sort of pain uh, should be expected afterward. Uh, we have a lot of good medications, uh, your pain and comfort's foremost on our mind, not just when we're doing the operation, but in the very early post-operative period. Recovery after minimally invasive surgery is usually a little bit easier on the patient uh, in the sense that they don't have to wait for the breastbone to heal. With standard open heart surgery, it takes about six to eight weeks for the breastbone to fully fuse. With minimally invasive approaches, we don't have that restriction, so uh, patients can return to full activity at an earlier time and don't have to wait for the breastbone to heal. It doesn't mean that there's no pain, there's still pain involved with the surgery, but in general, people can return to normal activity within about two to three weeks whenever their pain allows without having to wait for the breastbone to heal.